Welcome to Eat Treat Love. Come on in. Man, the past two years, huh? Well, these are my favorite crystals for protection. I love our protection crystal diffuser with moonstone in it. Just perfect. I put this right in front of my door, and this is the chevron amethyst point. And if everything fails, you can always count on an obsidian sphere. You can never go wrong with a black tourmaline. And those are my top favorite crystals for protection. Visit us online or come down to Eat Your Love down by Studio City. Hi Virgos, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. Let's begin over here. Let's start with an oracle. I think my table is not circle enough. Not circle enough. Only a Virgo would say that. <laughs> a circle but not circle enough. Okay. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Okay, so let's see. Let's start with an oracle. Welcome to the store, the Shabangles. Okay. This is where all the magic happens. Let's see here. Okay. You have keep your dreams alive. Mm -hmm. So keep your dreams alive. Hopes, dreams, and desire, right? Um, the reason why we wake up every day is, uh, you know, we have a life purpose. So right now, this can be you. Um, you're just looking at yourself. It's like, mm, you know, like trying to connect again where, why did you do this whole thing, you know, called life? Um, what is your purpose right now? It's asking you to go within and then ask yourself, okay? Um, because this is about your direction in life. You're coming into a, a, a time where I feel it's more about you really going 100. Like, I'm not going to stop myself from this. This is the time where I own this. Keep your dreams alive. And also, of course, if you're having a downtime, um, this also shows that you need to stay focused. Because keeping your dreams alive, this is, again, the reason why you are waking up every morning. Um, this is where your direction of your life is. So it's asking you to stay focused on that. Mm -hmm. So don't lose that, that inner flame. Okay. Now I'm going to use the... Uh, I'll use the Ankh deck, okay? Let's see what's going on for us here. Let's see. Make sure to check out your uh, March uh, All Zodiac Money and Love. I did it yesterday. I did live reading for that one. And actually, Virgo on TikTok is the most viewed, okay, for their soulmate messages. So follow me on TikTok also at Taro underscore by Sal. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, it's pretty good. I like it. Mm -hmm. All right. Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Swords. The Virgos right now are about opportunity. There are things in life that matters to you, and one is your career, travel, business permit. You, you putting your website on already there, you know, it's about a project with the Ace of Pentacles. So I see here that you're very focused right now on money. You're very focused on it. It's like, this is something that I want for myself, Sal. I need to grow my business. I need to um, stay on top of how I handle my finances. For others, this is receiving a loan, which is, you know, that's good. And this is also you putting a down payment can be in a car or down payment in a home. So you got the, sorry about this. This is just a straw, not part of the cinematics. Okay. <laughs> That's just my coffee. Mm -hmm. So, which is very good. I like that the Ace of Pentacles is here. Um, you're grounded, you're solid. You're definitely um, starting uh, you know, to learn how to manage your finances. Now, the Ace of Swords uh, is looking like victory with regards to money matters and business matters. Career-wise, it's going to be success. Now, Romantically, you like someone, 
um, you want to take them out, go out on a date, and then I feel that you wanted to, you know, like you want to explore this, but not really diving deep right away. Because the Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Swords is just new, which means like there is a new communication or something new between you and this person that you're just slowly getting the vibe into. So getting to know each other. Now, you have a person who is very casually um, getting to know you. They're a little bit of a stalker. They watch your every move with the Page of Swords over here. Um, okay, so I'll show it to you guys. So that's the Page of Swords. The eye is like just focus, just focus. You know, it's like it's focusing on you. Now you have a Three of Cups here, which I feel that um, it's a moment of celebration. It's good. It's it feels like the two of you are, are you know going out. You know, like just enjoying and having a good time. Can be a per the person is a friend of a friend or an acquaintance, or you meet this person in a network. That's a Three of Cups. You're not ready for this, Virgo. Um, um, for whatever reason, you you open up and then you shut down. You do have a Four of Pentacles here. That's why. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles, like what I mentioned. Big Pentacle, right? And then the Sword right here. Mm -hmm. So one minute you, you're open to this. The next minute is like, no, I'm not. Got a King of Swords over here. Um, you turn your back around from this person and you basically give them the cold shoulder. I don't know why, but that's what you did. Um, this person f has fallen for you already. It's too late. You have the star and the lovers. They already know it's you mm -hmm, that they um, desire. You are their dream. If for you keep your dreams alive, you're this person's dream. So this person is going to keep you alive. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> With the star and the... With the lover's card, the person does feel that this is something good. You know, this is something destined. There is a good connection here. I feel like we're soulmate. I feel like there is a purpose why we met each other. Um, and I want to get to know you with the lover's card. I want to talk to you, travel with you. And I feel like you're bringing some healing um, energy towards this person, which is a star card. So when they met you, their life has changed. Um, it feels like you did give them some sort of purpose. You gain them. You give them balance in life, and it felt like after that it was all magic. You got the lovers and the star card. It was all magic. Everything was good. Everything was happy. Everything was, you know, like um, building it from day one to day two um, was just a happy day for them. Okay, they're very very ecstatic with you. Okay, because you have the star card. You have all the hopes for this connection to manifest. Now you do have the five of wands and the magician. Mm hmm. Which I feel like right now, since this is the magician, you're taking action. You're trying to take action because you have Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Swords. It would be the choice of the magician um, to stay grounded and to get to know them. You have a fear with the Five of Wands of opening up matters of the heart. So you're not allowing this person to just come through. And it's like, oh, okay, um, we can, you know, like, we can get to know each other and then date and then this and that. It's like, no, 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 It cannot be, I'm not that easy with the five of wands. Like, my life is complex. You can just tell me you like me and you love me. And then, you know, everything is, you know, a walk in the park. No, it's not. You have the Hierophant and the Queen of Swords over here, which I feel um, this person, because you're the king and then they got the queen. They feel like your energy is different. It's almost like you're not interested with partnering with them. And they're actually feeling let down because the queen is looking on the other side and the king is also looking on the other side. It can be an air sign, of course. So they, they tried, of course, you're going to come at me where you're going to tell me, it's like, no, I show them warmth. What are they talking about? We may show warmth, but a per, uh, how people would receive it is different. We may try to do good, but how people would see it is not good. So you cannot debate on how they're feeling. Because the Queen of Swords is them, them feeling like, well, the Libra, the, the Libra, the Virgo is ask, is uh, cold because it can be an air sign. Okay? So you cannot really dictate how an, a person can feel. You can show what you really want and your intention, but it doesn't mean that's how they're going to perceive it. Okay? It doesn't work that way. Okay? So let's see here.
You have the Ace of Wands. You have the Nine of Wands. You got the Sun. And the Strength card. Oh, wow. So this person is really, really for you, Virgo. Okay. You're scared. Nine of Wands with the Ace of Wands. So we call it also, uh, I believe, uh, Upapada Lagna. Where that's your, um, how people sees you. Okay. Yeah, Upapada. Not, oh, yeah, Upapada. So Ace of Wands with the Nine of Wands. You're never seen as your sun sign. You're never seen as your first uh, ascendant, you know, as the world perceives you differently. Okay. Because you can, uh, the way that you can associate this is like a person can have nothing, but they look rich, for example. They feel rich. The way that they act is totally different from who they really are. Because that's how the world is. There is a mirror that people see you from it. Okay? So Ace of Wands with the Nine of Wands. Um, this is a person who, this is you. This is you as a person who's very much guarded. Um, probably you've dated so many people or you've been in a relationship that never really manifested to, you know, to something that is good for yourself. And that's why the Nine of Wands is here. You're a skeptic. Ace of Wands, like you may even say, it's like, no, let's just take it casual. Let's just get to know each other, you know. So you have the apprehension card. Now, they have the Sun and the Strength card, uh -huh, Virgo, which only means that um, they're fighting for this. They have the courage. They're becoming bold. Um, they want to express to you with the sun and the hierophant how much they want to be in partnership with you. It's wonderful. Especially the strength card over here. This is taming the beast. And this feels like they want to talk to you and then express to you. It's like, listen, I'm so happy I met you. I really feel like we have something good with the strength card and the sun card. Let's go for this. This is their this is their energy towards you. Okay. Now I'm gonna get the um, grand reveal, the strength card as they fight for this as they fight for this connection. Let's see. So if you're a cross watcher, basically you really want the Virgo. I don't know why the Virgo doesn't want you. Okay. So let's see. One to nine. I'm gonna get two for the strength card fighting for this connection. With the sun card, I'm gonna get three. Ooh, and I see it. The hermit. Mm, which is you. I saw it. So I feel like the hermit, since it's come out, Virgo, this person is really looking for a connection with you, with the hermit. And then normally the hermit looks into the star and you're the star. So they found the one. I'm gonna get three for the sun card. You are their wish granted, basically. You're the package for them. I'm gonna get four for their wishes. Okay. I get four for that one. And then the lovers, how much passion they have for you. And you get the Hierophant. I'm going to get three for the lovers. The passion that they want to express to you. Oh my God. And then is this going to be a long term partnership because there is the Hierophant? So let me see. I'm going to get six. One, three, four, five, and six. Okay. And then what else? Um, they're happy to be with you. Now, I'm not sure what you're manifesting, but I'm going to get to that with the Magician. I got four for the Magician. Okay, now let me see what's going on also with regards to the fear that you have with this person with the Nine of Wands. Let's see. Ooh! You got five of cups and the ten of wands. I feel like you just exhaust. You're exhausted when it comes to dealing with um, with relationship. You're just tired. You're just over. Okay, so I'm gonna get four for that one with the nine of wands. The hurt and the pain. I'm not sure if this is the person that let you down. That's why you can't face them right now. But you you have the control. Magician, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands. The ball is in your court. I just don't know why you're basically looking away from them. Okay, so I'm going to continue this reading for everyone who wants to join the workshop. The workshop is in the coming, I believe it's coming this Saturday already, if I'm not mistaken. So do check it out. It's the how to make your coins and make your coins work for you. Um, there's a lot of people, it's over 100 now, I believe, who's attending the workshop. So I do, I do, I do really want to see you there, okay? Now, I'm going to do the grand reveal, answer all your questions. It's going to be in the description box below for the extended reading. Follow me on TikTok at tarot underscore by Sal. And then what else? Um, 
also follow my Instagram at Salbiador if you want to keep updated with what I do day to day. That's where I would be an IG story and also um, I keep posting there. And also Eat Read Love. If you want to know, um, you know anything metaphysical, follow us on Instagram also at Eat Read Love. Don't forget to watch your All Signs, which I already uploaded for Iris to Pisces. Um, do check it out. I did live previously this weekend. Thank you very much, Virgo, for watching. I feel like someone just just feels so lucky to be with you. Oh, okay. I'll see you guys again. Bye.